Hi Pisces, it's me Stormy and here's your annual horoscope for 2020. And Pisces, astrologically, this is a big brilliant year. We've got cool astrological things. At the beginning of the year, Saturn and Pluto coming together in conjunction. Throughout the year, Jupiter and Pluto coming together in conjunction. And at the end of the year, Saturn and Jupiter coming to gun into conjunction as the rulers of the age as we move towards the age of Aquarius. We've also got six eclipses happening this year and every planet planet that can is going to retrograde. So it is a year going in that I will tell you, Pisces, I hope in 2019, no matter how hard, no matter how brilliant it is that you planted the seeds to allow them to grow in 2020. Because as we move into the beginning of 2020, we're coming in on the Cancer Capricorn axes, which are things that you've already seen. You've already worked on these in 2019. So now here in 2020, you're much more prepared to bring some effective solution or bring something well-rounded to the table. This kicks off June 10th with a lunar eclipse in the energy of Cancer at 20 degrees. Fellow water energy, but this eclipse is gonna happen in your fifth house. Romance, owning your own business, children. I also think that this is a house where with a lunar eclipse happening, it says something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. It's a shedding. This is an energy where you may be shedding some childish ideas that you have as well, but it is certainly an energy to relook at all of these areas. Now, just two days later, Saturn and Pluto are going to come together in conjunction at 22 degrees of Capricorn. This lights up your 11th house. Now, Pisces, putting both of these energies together because they're so close to each other, and because Saturn and Pluto, when they dance together, they create an evolutionary change. They create a shift that sometimes feels like a loss, but immediately behind the loss, it's replaced with this gain, right? So one of the things I would question uh, the shift happening here is where from 2019 coming into 2020, are you aware that you need to be mindful of connecting with other people or how or where you're connecting with other people? Does this bring you joy? The 11th house is also a house of long range plans and goals, your ambitions, your designs of what you want for your life. So where with Saturn and Pluto in conjunction, are they saying, hey, we're trying trying to take you to the next level. So we need to make some changes around here. Who needs to go? Who is not Team Pisces? And who absolutely gets to stay because they're here to help you to be a part of what you've got going on and they can also be a part of your future. This is a wonderful energy there. Now Mercury is going to retrograde three different times through the year in February, June, and October. And I will cover those in the monthly videos, okay? March 22nd, Saturn is going to step into the energy of Aquarius. For you, this big transition, which is only a preview, only a sneak peek of things that you will continue to work on going forward, but this is in your 12th house. Something I keep thinking about in the 12th house is the behaviors, actions, and attitudes that you have that will literally be your own undoing. So here, where are you not being open-minded enough? It's Aquarian energy. You got to be open-minded. Where are you not connected enough with people, places, and things? Where are there some ideas that are older or maybe outside of your box that would serve you to be shed in this 12th house space? I also think of the place of spirituality, right? Pisces, meditation, grounding, any of these things. You're a 12th house energy naturally, right? So where do these things need to be tended to? Where do you need to dominate learning how to just create solace for yourself so that you can navigate things in the outside world successfully. Now also with Saturn here Aquarius if there are secrets or there are things that have been hidden from you this will bring them to the light and it will bring them into the light so that you can deal with them or bring something to the surface. May 13th through June 25th here, we've got Venus retrograde in the energy of Gemini. Now, this is a first touchdown on this Gemini Sag Sagittarius axis that we're going to be dancing on. So with Venus retrograde, we suggest that you not start any new romances if you can avoid it. An old one could come dancing back in, of course. But because this retrograde is happening in your fourth house, one of the things I think of is maybe you're reconnecting with family in some way, shape, or form because the fourth house is home. 
um, family, real estate, property, women in your life. Pisces, have you needed more connection with women in your life or your history or maybe even um, older women, ancient concepts in your life, something like that. But certainly this Venus retrograde may even help you relook over um, where you're living in some way, shape or form because you may decide as we get closer to the end of the year to make a move. June 5th, we've got a lunar eclipse happening in the energy of Sagittarius at 15 degrees. Now, this will light up your 10th house. This lunar eclipse, which calls for a shift of some variety, right? It needs your attention, is going to be happening during this Venus retrograde. So truly, you may be going back to an old job. You could be taking on something, some responsibility or something like that in a previous job that you had or something like that. You could be reconnecting with family, moving back home, or making the decision. You're like getting plans in order at this time, but it is bringing a call to your attention around work and home balance for sure. June 21st, we've got a solar eclipse in the energy of Cancer at zero degrees. At July 5th, we've got a lunar eclipse in Capricorn at 13 degrees. This is the last dance for the year on these axes with these eclipses. So this is your chance to make those big sweeping changes through your social houses, through your joy houses, your play houses, your romantic houses. I'm telling you, if you are in a romantic relationship that has needed to end, this energy will help it end. And if it needs to end because it's time or it needs to end because there is a mental issue blocking the two of you from actually coming together, this is an energy to change it. And that includes your friendships as well. But this energy will end that axis. You are feeling wise. You are feeling powerful to make these changes and adjustments. November 13th, we've got a lunar eclipse happening again in Gemini at 8 degrees, lighting up that fourth house. December 14th, we've got a solar eclipse in Sagittarius, and this is at 23 degrees in your 10th house. This is the new job. This is the move. This is the whatever. And if you've been in a job for a while, because every year is not about getting a new job. That doesn't build longevity for anybody. This could be you're taking on new roles. You're getting new energy. You're feeling refreshed. Maybe something at home is making work feel really delicious or vice versa. Because it's 10 and 4 as well, some of you could be getting married. Absolutely. But this is your energy of a fresh start or activated action. December 17th, we have got Saturn coming back into the energy of Aquarius. December 20th, Jupiter will come into the energy of Aquarius. And then on, G on December 21st, Jupiter and Saturn come together in the great conjunction in the energy of Aquarius. All of this lights up the 12th house space for you. So these guys are your turning point for letting some old behaviors, old beliefs, some actions, some attitudes go that are absolutely not serving you. This is the place where you outgrow fear, outgrow deception and things like that. So I would ask you to think back to 2012 to 2015 Pisces. What happened for you? Something significant changed. You weren't ready to take it on yet, but now you absolutely will be. This is your turning point energy, so don't miss out on it. Now we've got two other events that are gonna need your attention and your action as we travel through 2020. September 9th to November 13th, Mars is gonna retrograde quite comfortably actually in the energy of Aries. He's pretty comfortable because he rules the energy of Aries, so it could definitely be worse. Now this is going to light up though your second house. So this will be your opportunity to review Mars-like things. Mars is about how you're doing things, how you're getting things done, the things that you're fighting for putting your effort and your energies into. Now you're going to get the opportunity during this Mars retrograde to really take action, take movement, take motion to relook at your finances, relook at how you're making money. You've had a ton of influence touched down on this 12th and 11th houses. Are you interacting with people, places, and things that seem better than they are and it's time to release them for something better? What are you fighting for? Right? Mars is your fight energy. What's your desire around your finances? Are you putting your creative talents out there to work for you? 2019, I think, really did put you under a fair amount of pressure. Nothing that wasn't insur was insurmountable. Nothing that wasn't good for you to plant those seeds so that you have something to really take action and make profitable. And again, I have this vision that you're going back to something you used to be doing, and now you can make it profitable, though. Now, Jupiter and Pluto's conjunctions are going to happen April 30th 
April 4th, June 30th, and November 12th. These are important dates to pay attention to because while they come together, they are like a super espresso shot. It's focused energy. It is an opportunity to literally make a leap into some kind of growth, to some kind of change. Now, this is going to be in your 11th house. I'm telling you, Pisces, people who are team Pisces are going to show up for you during these time frames. These may be time frames where even if you feel a little bit weird about it, for some reason, you just all of a sudden feel like being so social or you're put into social situations. These are nothing but positive energies for you to form the tribe that you want. It's really like you create the fellowship that you seek. You create the tribe that you seek. But these people, these opportunities, these big ambitions that you get to have long term for your life show up in full effect with full opportunity for you to take positive, growthful advantage of. So I hope that 2020 gets to be brilliant. More than that, I think that I hope for you that you get to see where you planted those seeds in 2019, where they're growing and getting to take some root here in 2020 as we get ready to move forward to whatever else is coming next, right? All right, my Pisces loves, I cannot wait to walk with you every month and every week of 2020, keeping you abreast of everything that's coming, going, and everything in between. So like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and know that I love you very, very, very much. And I'll see you soon. Bye.